Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Rule the Waves 2, as France, espousing the ideas of the young school, Jung Okol. Here we are, we're looking pretty good for a war with Germany next, after taking Sardinia, and the Rhodes. And something else, I think. Oh yeah, we took uh, Italian East Africa. Eritrea. I think we have everything arranged appropriately. Yes. Alright. Proved torpedoes. Very good thing for what we're trying to do this time around. And how's the... Alright, construction is going well as well. Yeah, it's better fire control. Lightweight armor. Better coastal subs, which we haven't built any, have we? I mean, they're coastal subs, but we can build them. And they're dirt cheap. Oh, with no vent or uh, fanfare. Germany and France go to war. Coastal raid. Medium. We get two of our light cruisers and an escort. We'll head in between Wilhelmshaven and Helgeland. Considering it is night, ah, we can't scout with destroyers yet. I was going to set them to scout ahead to kind of widen this circle of knowledge. There should be transports all over inside here then. And we have the whole night to find them. If we find them, not seeing any of them yet. And now it's daytime. I worry about coastal fortifications. There's one. Come up to full combat speed and chase it down. Yeah, second one. That one's faster. I assume it's Corvette. Says it's a medium merchant. There's some heads. And we have achieved our objectives. Sure, let's up some survivor. No reason to be mean to who would otherwise just be some civilians caught fighting for the wrong side. Well, I guess there's civilians are not fighting, but they're supporting the wrong side. Just 
just as I was about to come down to cruise speed. What do we got here? Third transport. It sank. Pick up survivors and cruise. We have achieved our objectives and then some. Time is almost out. We're gonna skedaddle. Hey! Oh, yeah. That isn't even a thing yet. Aviation cruiser. And there we go. That was all of their merchants. Um, wow. That reminds me, I'm planning on having a a full log of everything this time around. And recording all combat during this war. All combat logs. This is against merchants, I don't really care about those. But I want to evaluate everything, all logs, after the war is done. So you go, well, our six inches are, are doing well. Oh, our armor scheme on our heavy cruisers is not sufficient. Stuff like that. Uh, shall we get some subs? Afford 10. Build all of them. We have for coast fortifications too. Western France. That's a bit expensive though. Do we need some raiders? Got all these raiders. All Northern Europe. They're all going to be put to raiding. Have these Corvettes. They are supposed to be on trade protection. They are sufficient. What kind of sub count do they have? Seven. What does the design look like? Mine sweeping gear. We have our destroyers and our heavy cruisers. Heavy cruiser, two battleships. What we have left available putting our ships on raiding. No need to go further. We'll get our second heavy cruiser. And two of our fleet escort cruisers. Or why don't we build a couple more of the Lanoi? Get them on the slips. Build a couple more of the Arquebuses. They are a bit more capable. See how that turns out. What do we have total here? They're greatly outnumbered. We will be blockaded. Really? Due to a lack of fuel? I know it's a percentage base, but holy smokes. 
Oh, well, I can't argue with the results, though. A cruiser battle. Will we get a heavy cruiser for it? They denied and gave us a lot of victory points. Battleship engagement. Large. We could be severely outnumbered. First time I've seen uh, unable to participate due to distance from base. Good thing to see. Gonna make uh, destroyers in the Pacific a lot make a lot less sense. So here we are, both our battleships, our two heavy cruisers. will now squeeze in to the battle line. Uh, let's go to 18, not 20. I mean 19. Can I go 20? All right, there they are. Scouts and escorts, battleships. Looks like they have at least two. Oh, I got a whole slew of escorts. Got three battleships. All Weissenberg's class. Four 10 inch, 18 6 inch. Four 13 inch, 8 6 inch. They have a 10 inch belt. They have a 9.5 and, and a 1.5 deck. We can't get through that deck. We can't get through that belt. So we're going to need lucky shots on weak, uh, weak spots in the armor. Probably stay at range. Their 10 inches are nothing to us. Then maybe take out that first Bismarck. Tourist Bismarck. Not nigh, it's an U umlaut. Alright, there we go. Got a hit on one of the destroyers. We received a hit on the secondaries. Six inch hit on the Weisenberg. Four inch hit on the Bismarck. Wolferino takes a medium hit. Weissenberg takes a six inch, another six inch. We receive a bouncing hit to the engine room. Berg takes a six inch, mostly six inches hitting. What are our heavy cruisers have again? Four ten inch, twelve six. They're more heavily armed than our... Well, no, because they have 10 inch and these have 13. They got lost secondaries, though. Excellent. Emerald Sharner takes a hit. That's the other thing we need to keep in mind. 6 inch belt. They are sufficient. Weissenberg with a 10 inch and a 6 inch. Weissenberg with a 6 inch. Animal Charner bounces off the belt. Weissenberg with a 6 inch. Suffering with a pass through hit. Super structure, so to be expected. Especially for a heavy gun. Wolverino bounces. Bismarck takes a 6 inch, Freisenberg takes a 10. Admiral Charner bouncing a heavy gun as we expected after checking. Deputy Torar takes a secondary battery hit. It looks like a small battleship. But the secondaries are fine. 
Suffering takes a superstructure hit. Oh, we got one of their destroyers. Well done. That'll do something. Weissenberg takes a 13 inch. Admiral Charner takes a medium gun. Bismarck takes a 6 inch. Weissenberg takes a 6. Suffering takes a penetrating hit to the secondary battery. We have no but one secondary gun on the port side now. No point no. Three inches more than penetratable. Suffering takes a secondary hit. Wolferino takes a secondary hit. Suffering takes an odd penetrating hit to the extended belt. Yet uh, one of the V1s again. And the Weissenberg takes a 13, 4, and a 10. Weissenberg takes a 6. We take a penetrating superstructure hit to the Suffering and the Sulfurino. Got a couple of 6 inches into their battle line. Light damage, medium damage, light damage. That's good if that is true. Weissenberg takes a 13 inch. We are in the afternoon. Looking at a cloudy day. Three and a half hours of combat before it becomes nighttime. We should be kings of the nighttime. Ooh, two 13 inch hits. The OCD for a moment and then come left four degrees. Two six inches into the Bismarck. Three, actually, because both of our heavy cruisers managed to hit them. Suffering takes a four and a half hit. Weissenberg takes a 13. Mark takes a six. Let's stop reporting everything. Suffering takes a penetrating medium hit. Should be a six inch or the eight inch. Hits on the suffering, no result. Six inches all around. Four inch hit on the V1. Wolferino takes a penetrating medium hit. A little bit of flotation damage now. Good heavy flooding. Okay. Lose our torpedoes. Start to be in torpedo rain. We'll neck us back out five degrees to the right. 13 inch hit on the Weissenberg. Deputy OR takes an engine room hit. Not bad. Their battle line turns away, except for this lead ship, which might have rudder damage. We will pursue. Pegged one of the V1s. We'll go back to due west. Oh, their destroyer's turned away. We have separated the Weissenberg. 
in a pursuit course, separating them from their fleet. Number of hits on them. Engine room hit on us. 3v1's coming in. We will maneuver a bit. Take one of the V1s again. And again. Yeah, she's going to be able to rejoin her fleet. How fast can they go? 18 knots. And have a speed advantage of one knot. Our battleships are better in every possible way. 13 inch hit. Hit on one of their V1s with a 6 inch. That's gotta hurt. Our destroyers are coming in. We will S turn. Or we will just turn west and chase their destroyer. There's a 13 inch hit. Suffering is on fire. Get another hit on the V1s. Oh, come on, guys. Another hit on the Weissenberg. Couple more hits on those V1s. We'll cut in. For torpedo avoidance, cut out. Ooh. Couple more hits on those V1s. The Weissenberg is on fire. Couple more hits on V1s. Disabled this one and this one. Still moving. Ooh, that one isn't. Let's angle out in case this be launched torpedoes. More hits on V1s. Not sure which one. That one has gone down. That one is still limping away. And we've completely disabled that one now. That one's going down. That's two confirmed destroyer kills. More hits, 13 inch hits on the Weissenberg. We will now pursue at extreme torpedo range because I don't think their torpedoes are that good. And we just recently got more torpedo tech. Peppering the Weissenberg with one of the Weissenbergs with smaller arms. Our superstructure damage is mounting, taking some flooding damage as well with the belt extended hits from their 10 inch batteries. Oh, the one. It says one, that usually means there's some sort of permanent flooding. She's leaky. Peppering the Weissenberg some more. Medium hit on the Weissenberg. Tagging a couple of the destroyers. Ooh, 10 inch hit on the Weissenberg. You lose speed? No, oh, some. Still faster than our battleships. This is kind of a bad situation because we have battleship enemy battleships on both sides of us. But it 
I'll look at it as all of our secondary should be firing. In fact, let's put our destroyers in the back of the line considering that. So our cruisers can also engage with everything. 13 inch hit on the Weissenberg. I'm to think I should use the Italian solution and chase them down. Do a stern chase with the Weissenberg until she goes down so I can get hits at closer range. Another 13 inch hit. Heavy round into the Suffren, bounces off the belt. Hitting the Weissenberg with smaller rounds. There's a six inch hit. Is she out of ammo? Our main turrets are not traversing. Are we on ammo? 40%. I'd like to get a torpedo into her, but it's kind of hard right now. And if I send up the squadron attack flag, which is the uh, the black flag I always talk about. Or at least destroyers go towards this guy, or suicide on the others. Find out. I turn in the right direction. Their speed limited to 22 knots by weather. Let's wait then. Sea state is poor. We will we will wait on the for nightfall. Weissenberg's still going fairly fast. Or did it just slow down? Oh, well, got her to turn north, which is away from coastal. What's her allows us to get closer to our heavy cruisers. Oh, Weissenberg has not slowed down or gotten faster. We have slowed down. Suffering is down to 16 knots. All flooding is gone. All flooding is gone. Some more of those destroyers. Come around north, continue to separate her from her sister ships. Uh, we're going to lose her because we're also slow. Put the destroyers back in a support role with the battle division. Keen is our max. It's something, so let's. Yeah, that was a destroyer. Um, starboard. There's some more. Cut in fully. We'll come around. 
Pepper the Weissenberg over here. Which just won't be the same one we've been chasing this whole time. There's a 13 inch hit. Another 13 inch hit. And this one has a reported heavy damage. I am doubtful on that. There's a 13 inch. There's a 13 inch. Going faster than it at 16 in knots. Another 13 inch. We are. Okay. Heavy damage doesn't sound quite so uh, outrageous then. Down to 14. Oh. Their destroyers might be launching torpedoes, so we will come to starboard. Didn't mean to double tap the space bar. Golferino is hit by a torpedo. Which is unfortunate. Full to port, keep coming. I'm to starboard. No more torpedoes. Down to half. And we're gonna lose the Sulfurino out of the battle line. She won't be able to keep up. Down to 13. 13. Now that I'm closing in on the Weissenberg, let's come back down to 14. Oh, she came to a stop. And she's moving again, which means electrical failure. Good opportunity for our destroyers to get some torpedoes in, but we have a lot of friendly ships in the way. Come about. And let's see if we can line up a torpedo shot with the battleships. Do they have port torpedoes? They do. Both of them. Keep turning in case they counter launch. And we're getting nothing. And we'll swing pretty wide for this side. Um, one of the heavy cruisers launched. No success, but they launched. Oh, uh, is this so free? No. Okay, no. No more flooding. And an extra knot of speed. Eisenberg seems to have been completely disabled now. At least I'm not seeing any return fire from her. We're at 625 minutes. And that's a hit. I'll call that good. We will turn away. Question then becomes, where are the rest of them and do we want to continue to engage? Take a peek around. No opposing ships, so we got three destroyers and one battleship. I would call that a major victory. And let's see, we have. I need 
friendly sheet and a, an enemy sheet. 07 Germany, 07 France. So the Zeringen. Be nice. Take note if a developer ever sees this. Being able to hit Control A in this box would be amazing. Then we have the, the other German battleships that didn't sink. All right, it's not going to be easy. Roll to the bottom. German destroyer. Yeah, it's a destroyer. That's about what we expect. German destroyer. This one took a few more. Oh, because it was already sinking. G10, which that one did take a few. And the Mecklenburg took plenty, and uh, she appears to be the one that is lightly damaged. Some more destroyers that took fire. Light cruiser that took a couple rounds. Destroyed one of her turrets. The rune, which took a smattering throughout the battle. Ariadne. Took a pair of hits. Or no, took one. And the G8, which took one medium hit and did a number on them. All right, and then on the French side, we have Solferino, which took quite a few hits. Suffering, which took quite a few hits, or was heavily involved in the battle, which shouldn't be a surprise. The FT Tolar, which only took five out of that laundry list. There we go. don't think I have everything set up to give an overall output. I'm working on it. One of these days I'll have it done. That's eight columns. Columns. And a columns. I forgot to insert a row. Now everything's off by one, a three, and I four. That's not what I want. I don't feel like fixing that. Means have to do that and insert a row, copy, paste. There we go. 
I'll clean that up and uh, maybe we'll start doing regular looks at that throughout the war. Maybe we'll just look at it at the end of the war. Regardless, that was an amazing battle. Great way to start the war. Gain one prestige. Battle of Horns Reef. A new name. I've seen Horns Reef before. But with that, we are over time by, at this point, even with a couple of cuts. I appreciate you staying till the end. I hope you had a lot of fun. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think below, and I will see you next time. Take care.